They smell like Elmer's glue. It's kind of, I mean, I don't hate it. Come here, smell me. <laughs> smells like a real man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buying a lift kit can be quite a daunting task. I mean, there's a ton of different kits on the market at all sorts of price points from all sorts of manufacturers, and it can be really tough to determine exactly what kit is right for you. I mean, do I need coilovers or will a spacer lift do the job? Will a four inch lift work or should I go six inch? How big a tires can I fit under there? I'm Dustin, you can find me at dusty.co on Instagram and today we're gonna to be going over our top five mistakes when it comes to purchasing a lift kit. Before we do that though, if you need a lift kit for your truck, you can find that at customoffsets.com. We also sell wheels and tires and bumpers and lighting and all sorts of other build parts that'll help you get your truck looking right. Also, we're doing a giveaway. In addition to TIS wheels, Toyo tires, and a BDS lift kit, we're also giving away a full set of rock lights from Black Label Lighting. And for the first time, we're giving away a Road Armor Spartan Series front bumper. Seriously, this is a true full build giveaway and you're not gonna wanna miss it. First things first, one of the biggest mistakes you could potentially make when buying a lift kit is not picking up the right set of wheels and tires to go with it. Now, trust me, I know what you're saying, this isn't technically the lift kit's fault, but the fact still remains. Too small of a wheel and tire package for your truck can leave you looking like the guy who skipped leg day. On the flip side, if you end up getting a wheel and tire package that's too big, you can have all sorts of clearance issues and rubbing, which also is really not a good time. Not to mention most kits will tell you the minimum diameter and backspacing or offset needed to avoid issues. For best results, we recommend taking a look at our gallery, which is home of no joke, like a hundred thousand different vehicles with all sorts of fitment information. Want to know if you can clear 14 wides on a leveling kit? We got that. Want to know if you need to trim on 20 by 12s and 35s on your 1500? We have that too. Seriously, one of our number one recommendations is to check out the gallery before you purchase your lift so you know exactly what will and won't work for you. Up next is something you probably didn't think about when it comes down to actually installing your lift, which is taking care of any preventative maintenance before you put the lift in. Well, yes, a lift kit can and will impact component longevity. Keeping your suspension maintenance up to date while you're in there is also pretty important. Things like tie rod ends, ball joints, etc., can all wear out and cause your truck to drive less than ideal down the road. This is only further amplified with a lift kit as the lift often puts more strain on these components. Also, when you're in there, consider components that you'll need to take out to install the lift kit. The older the truck, the happier those control arm bolts are where they are, and they're not gonna wanna come out very easily. Along the same lines, it's important to remember that after you install your new lift kit, you're gonna need a few things. For starters, an alignment is always necessary as it helps keep wheels and tires going straight down the road, saving tire wear, and ultimately getting you more life out of your tires. Additionally, it's pretty important to check and or retorque your components after you install a lift as this ensures everything is snug and won't come loose on you driving down the road. Moral of the story, if you plan to install the lift kit yourself, do your research and read the damn directions. They send them with it, it's right there. Probably the biggest mistake we see guys make when it comes to buying a lift kit is shopping on price alone. I mean, I get it, I understand the allure. Lift kits can be expensive and it can be really easy just to head on over to the website, enter your year make model in, and then click the little drop down and sort by price. Much like many other things, when it comes to building your truck though, you do get what you pay for. Oftentimes, some of the less expensive lifts may increase angles on things like CV axles and ball joints, meaning that they can put a lot of additional wear and tear on these components. Also, these less expensive kits may not always come with some of the major replacement parts like tie rod ends or hardware that some of the more expensive kits do have. Now, with that being said, we also don't recommend just going out and buying the most expensive lift kit either, as oftentimes it may be more than you need. Just because you spend a ton of money on a big old 18 inch lift doesn't necessarily make it any better than some of the other smaller lifts on the market. And that coilover conversion kit may be really freaking cool, but it may not be worth the couple extra thousand bucks for how you use your truck. For best results, we recommend really taking a look at the lift kit to ensure it comes with all the parts you're looking for and none of the stuff you don't need. Lastly, and we see this a lot, believe it or not, is do not purchase a lift kit thinking it will fix the ride quality or broken components of your truck. Generally speaking, 
the older your truck is, the less parts you're gonna get with a lift kit. Older trucks are just more simple. This means that you're gonna need to reuse or replace the majority of those 20 year old parts. And if you need to replace stuff, there can be some cost that's actually more than what the truck costs itself. On the flip side of that spectrum is lifting a brand new truck is not going to increase the ride quality. While most kits at least maintain some of the factory ride, once you're lifted, the truck will ride and handle differently. It's a fact, that's just the nature of the beast. This isn't your grandpa's Cadillac sedan. Did we miss a big mistake you might've made? Let us know down in the comments section below and as always, be sure to like the video, smash that subscribe button so we can keep making the truck content you guys love. Peace.